In the last tutorial, we worked with the GDM Display Manager. In the Cyber Patriot competition, you may very well see Light DM. So I'll go ahead and CD slash home slash student. And then uh, whatever your user is, sudo su. And let's do an apt install Light DM. This will change our display manager. I'm going to choose yes for that. I'm going to pause the video. We're going to have some prompts we need to work with. Oh, don't have to. And it tells us what a display manager is. It provides a graphical login. And only one can be uh, active to manage this X -ser server at a time. Right now it's GDM. And so I'm going to choose hitting the down arrow because you can't click on this. Light DM. Just hit enter. And I'll demonstrate how to reconfigure the system so that you can actually choose at any time which display manager you'd like to use. And again, these are only two display managers. There are many. Just like there are many desktops we can install as well. So let's uh, CD now to Etsy LightDM. Let's do an ls, and you can see we have two uh, file. We have a file in a folder, users.conf. We have lightdm.conf.d. Let's cd into lightdm.conf.d. You can see that we have nothing in there now because again, I've referenced this throughout many of the modules. It's a .d file. Anything we put in here is going to be treated as a configuration. On a cd period period, let's go ahead and pico users.conf. Now, this has some interesting ones here. We have our user list. We have um, our minimum UID is 500 here. So if you have a user on the system with less than 500, won't be able to log in. I like that. We have hidden users. We have hidden shells. Bin false, user bin no login, and S bin no login. And so it's looking at Etsy password for that. So if I pico Etsy password, we can see a couple of things. We can see the user ID here, root has zero, less than 500. And we can see what the shells are here, bin bash. It's a valid shell that a user can use. But here it is, user has bin no login. It's gonna be a shell that LightDM knows it should ignore. So I'm gonna hit Control X. Make sure I've got that. I'm gonna hit Control X here. So let's add this. Uh, we could add it in users.conf. That would be fine. But let's go into lightdm.conf.d. And I'll pico a file. And I'll call this 10-hide-users.conf. Just like that. And we're going to create a section here called seat defaults. And uh, this is our hide users one. So let's do a greeter hyphen hide hyphen users equals true. And we can add multiple configurations here, but I'm splitting it up into different configuration files because we can look and we can kind of see based on the file name what this is actually doing. So pause the video, get that. Let's go ahead and pico another one. Let's call this 20 hyphen disable guest.conf we want to make sh darn sure that that guest count remains disabled so we're going to choose again seat defaults and we're going to choose allow we're going to type allow hyphen guest equals false i'm going to save that we're going to exit out of that now we want to be aware of whether or not there is an auto login enabled in any of these configuration files, and we certainly don't want an auto login. Just like we saw in GDM, uh, you want to make sure that that certainly uh, is not present. Um, you want to look for any other configurations. I mean, this is a pretty simple set of configurations here. You could have scripts that are loaded up, but just pay attention to everything that's in here and question it. And a simple Google search for light DM secure configuration is going to bring up
this simple list of uh, secure configurations for LightDM. And we can do all the same things that we did with GDM. We can change the background. We can change the wallpaper, right? Okay, so in this case, we're going to need to reboot the system to get LightDM uh, to work. So at this point with sudo su, if we've made those changes, go ahead and just type reboot, enter, and I'm going to pause the video while my system reboots. And when we come back, we should be in LightDM. So here I am in LightDM, and you can see that we've got our greeter here. And we've got our desktop environment that we'll talk about in the next uh, series that we can sort of pick from right now. It's just that Ubuntu default. But we don't have a user list. Um, I don't see a banner here either, um, something that we should probably look into. But um, again, it's more secure. There's You have to know what user you want to log in as. We are good to go. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to wait till I get back to the desktop. So here's what we're going to do for credit on that. We're going to CD to Etsy Light DM. And uh, we'll do an LS. Now we'll CD into lightdm.comp.d. Do an LS. And again, if you're a student in our classes, the instructor will come around and just check for the presence of these two files in lightdm.comp.d. Last thing I'll say, I encourage you to look up other display managers and try them out because there are several to choose from.